Plantar fibroma is a condition that is common, but often not recognized. A plantar fibroma is a benign tumor, or even just a considerable swelling, that occurs in the plantar fascia. So in this model, the plantar fascia is this strip, if you look at the foot upside down, this strip right here of, of tissue that goes from the heel bone, and it's cut in this model, but it goes to the bases of the toes, and then during walking, it's stretched, or it's used, and it, and it really kind of tightens the arch up during the walking activity. In that plantar fascia, because of these stresses, some people are susceptible to having little tears that occur within that plantar fascia, and then those tears become significantly swollen and enlarged and actually create almost a nodule or a ball of tissue that forms on the arch of the foot. If you find that in your foot you have a significant bump that occurs right in the middle of the arch that's painful with any pressure or with the use of an arch support, that could be a plantar fibroma. And a plantar fibroma uh, typically starts by enlarging and becoming more painful and then over time gradually getting less painful but still is often felt by pressing on that part of the foot. If you take your fingers and stretch your toes backward, which, which creates more of an arch, but also tightens up that plantar fascia, and then feel that mass, if it gets more prominent by pulling back on your toes, then you can be quite certain that this is most likely a plantar fibroma. At home, you can treat this by reducing pressure in the area of the arch. So using a shoe without an orthotic or any kind of an arch support can take pain away from a plantar fibroma. Using an arch support can often make the pain worse. And so if you use arch supports regularly and you've noticed pain in your arch, remove them and then give yourself a chance to let it heal. In addition to that, you can stretch the arch by stretching the toes backward in a similar way on a daily basis, pulling the toes back as part of that stretch, and then also stretching your calf muscle by stretching against the wall to, uh, to bring this ankle up and also stretching on a stair or dropping your heel down on a stair can be effective in reducing some of that tightness of the arch. If you do have a plantar fibroma and have made that determination, then using anti-inflammatory creams or gels can reduce symptoms. And then just modifying activities for a short period of time to reduce pressure can be helpful. If you've given yourself more than six weeks to eight weeks of time and you're still noticing symptoms, then you should see a foot doctor. When you see your foot doctor, the diagnosis will usually be made based simply on the, di the uh, clinical examination. So by just feeling your foot and looking at its motion and then determining which structure is affected, uh, he or she will be able to make the decision that this is a plantar fibroma. If so, surgery is rarely required. He or she may inject you with a steroid injection or a corticosteroid injection to help reduce the pain. Uh, and that's also fairly rare and uh, not always necessary. In addition, uh, you may also have a recommendation for an orthotic that has a cutout area or a complete decompression underneath the area where that uh, mass is prominent. In most cases, these will get better on their own and do not require any type of additional treatment. And mostly, you'll need just reassurance from your doctor that it's not something more serious. There are very few things that become large on the arch of the foot that are dangerous, and, the, and by far the most common is the plantar fibroma. If you have multiple plantar fibromatosis, where there are multiple masses and balls on the foot, and usually on both feet, uh, sometimes if these don't get better, then surgery is required. And the only surgery that's effective for this is the removal of the entire plantar fascia, which is a fairly big surgery and sometimes can cause skin problems. So it should be very carefully determined and the decision should be made between you and your surgeon.